Hello and welcome to Back to the Board once again. What a game we witnessed at the Air Force ground. Defending champions Candy Sports Club's unbeaten run was uh, taken out by the Air Force. Credits to Leonard De Silva and his troop for their defensive performance, which was fascinating to watch. Let's have a look at this uh, board. What went wrong initially for Candy Sports Club? Now, if you think that Charit Senimiratna's uh, penalty kick on the 72nd minute, which sailed through the post, that uh, brought the uh, winning moment for the Air Force, uh, that's not the winning moment for me. Because on this scrum, at the, when the time was at 1.56, this scrum where it went all wrong for Candy Sports Club. Ashok Vijay Kumar, the Air Force uh, scrum half, he's just having his debut season. And uh, look at Roshan Viratna, the experienced candy captain. He's just letting him without any pressure. I don't think Ashok would have thought that the club rugby is so easy to start off. Because if I'm Roshan Viratna, what I would do is rub my shoulders on Ashok and say, hey, may hey, uh, son or mate or whatever you call, this is not school's rugby, and put him under pressure because he made that man of the match performance, controlling the game nicely and putting some lovely uh, territorial kicks from the base. Because if Roshan was uh, placed out here in this scrum, he has to put pressure and then he will think so many times because Roshan didn't move at all. He needs to put the pressure at this base. As a result, what happened? Air Force, too easy to Sara Kavirala, their number eight, breaks from the blind side and Air Force scored the try immediate effect. And uh, if Roshan Viratna comes here, even he's being uh, isolated here, it didn't make an impact for Candy. It didn't make, uh, allow Candy to stop that uh, try uh, running uh, from that far corner. And that is one incident. And let's take a look at another incident, Roshan Viratna getting involved. But before going to that, even when Roshan was concussed and went out, the experienced Srinath Surya Bandara came into the uh, game uh, very soon, maybe in the eight minutes or so. Then we had a scrum somewhere here. Once again, once again, uh, Srinath Surya Bandara, he was uh, uh, forming like Roshan did, not putting pressure at the scrum. So that led the uh, debutant to play as what he wants, play freely in other words. Also, I want to show you one more thing where Roshan Viratna is involving in the line-out. Now, uh, Damit Disanayaka sending this line-out. This is a smart ploy, but I'm not sure whether it's the right thing to do when the time is just on the 5 minutes mark. It's just by the 10 meter mark, not in the opposite red zone. And uh, also, Air Force Hooker is uh, really targeting Roshan Viratna. He knew that, that this ploy is going to work because Roshan to receive the ball and then send it to Damit, and Damit can move another 5 to 10 meters forward. But sadly, that didn't happen. But uh, if you have luxury of numbers in their front rowers, skillful players in the line-out, why don't you get the line-out and drive? Perhaps you can win a penalty and gain more yards. Perhaps that's what uh, Candy should have done at that moment. Since after that, we didn't see any ploys coming because there were 11 knock-ons or maybe 12 knock-ons and two forward passes, which is not acceptable in the likes of Candy Sports Club. Well, this is not a technical nor a technical aspect of the game, but is very sensible. Referee Anur Ramkotge spotting the concussion of Roshan Viratna. Roshan wants to stay in the field, but he asked him to move for the HIA, Head Injury Assessment. Now, we have seen Roshan Viratna struggle last year. He got concussed on his head so many times, but I think this has to be really come into a serious action. He has to really consult the doctors and work according to the safety first concerns because maybe he has to go through that as well for a week or two. And uh, talking about this, we have seen that uh, George North, Wales uh, winger, he had so many concussion, uh, concussion injuries and as a result, he also skipped two weeks, uh, two to four weeks of uh, playing uh, international rugby. And one more thing I want to show you is that uh, when uh, Roshan Viratna was out, uh, Damit, uh, Disanaka is acting as halfback quite often. Now, you can see there are huge uh, ball carriers, forwards, candy forwards here. But instead, Damit knows where the ace power is, ace power of candy. That is their backs sending out to, uh, we'll see whom he sent out. Kanchana Ramanaka coming as a first receiver. Remember, he can play anywhere from the uh, three-quarter uh, position because last week he played in the winger. This time around, he played as a center. And he look at the numbers that he has outside by on, on his... Uh, Left, Ranjan Tilina and Richard Dharmapala, two of them playing uh, in the Sri Lanka Sevens team and they have so much uh, understanding. But instead, what did Kanchana Ramanayaka do? 
he must be thinking that still he is playing the sevens and he ran all the way 15 meters and creating this opportunity and nothing happened because he could have done so many things here only three defenders send out to Ranjan go for the big git and get two defenders and then he can offload and create more space but that didn't work but what is smart here what is brilliant by the Air Force is they every time when they uh, when the candy backs got the ball they just drifted towards this line they asked candy to hit the hit those space and we saw Richard Dharmapal in the corner was sent out twice and uh, also in the second half he was sent out uh, twice as well also Danushka Ranjan was sent out and also Kanchan Ramanaka was sent out so that shows the caliber of their defense they stick to one plan and they manage to not to give room for room for Candy Sports Club to hit their zone and also after all those knock-ons and forward pass and stop play the game time the game time is just only about 20 or 25 minutes of play so what they did best was Air Force, no, they just killed their time. We have seen Ashok Vijay Kumar killing time when he was playing for Royal College and just kill the time and get the penalty, hit to the opposite zone and then score the try or attack from there, kill the time as much as you can. And one thing, if you watch the game, when the score was 7 all, Air Force scored the first try, then Danush Dan scored the try for Candy, 7 all. Air Force got a penalty somewhere here. It's a kickable penalty. Instead going for three points, instead going for three points, what they did was go out, get the line out. Now that is courage, that is confident level from scoring that first try in the second minute. And what happened? They got the line out and they drove and scored the second try. So uh, brilliant stuff. So we can see the loose ho ho holes of Candy Sports Club. Any team can beat them now. Now the league is wide open. It will be interesting what will Army do because Army have beat Candy at race course uh, L not last year, before year before, it will be an interesting clash because they are one of the dark horses as well. So that's all I have for the week two of Back to the Boat segment. Until next week, I'm Sabir Kadas signing off for the Papri.com. <laughs>